make sure I've got it fully opened. And then I put it back in the tap. And when I wind it back in the tap, it's got a tighten. The first thing I want to do is turn the water on slowly, but leaving the tap open is all the shavings that are in the tap come out the spout, into the bath, into the sink, into the wash hand basin, and I can flush them away. What I don't want to do is make sure the seating of the tap is in next to the tap washer without me doing that. So once I've flushed that out, I can just turn the tap down, using fingers, turn the water off. I can put the head back on the tap, close it off, make sure it's not dripping. If it's still dripping, there's a problem somewhere. I've either not really ground the head off the tap to make sure it's flat and clean, or I've put the wrong washer on, or I've done something else. Again, go through the same process, water off, um, take it all apart, have a check, make sure it's all fine. I can put the indicator on, I put the screw back on, tighten the head up, and then put the dust cover or the cap on top of it. And that is how we used to reseat taps.